Hello and welcome to another Vid Tub brought to you by RiSite Studios. You can visit us on the web at RiSite.com. Um, so today we're going to talk about the annotations and comments using Adobe Acrobat. Now, when is this tool useful? Well, let's say I'm a designer. My name is Ryan. And Ken, who has this business card, is the client. So you're going to be Ken, all you users out there. So I created this business card for you, Ken, and you know you have some edits and some changes. We want to make a lot of the text a different size, and this is still in the mock-up stages. So excuse some of the edits that need to be made. <clears throat> and um, you know, I'm, all right, this is fantastic. Let's um, you know, let, I'm done with it. I'm now I'm going to um, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to export it, and I'm going to make a PDF out of it. So you get to kind of see the behind the scenes of what a designer does here. So I'm just going to do save as, and now I'm in I'm in Adobe Illustrator. But it doesn't matter what program I'm in. All that matters is what, that you can see this stuff. So I'm just going to make it into a PDF. I'm going to save it. Okay, right to the desktop. Um, do a smallest file size a little faster. And okay, it's going to zip right through this. Looks like there's three files one, two, three, three of three. Okay, and we're done. And all right, here it is. Here's what has been exported, and this is what I'm I just sent you. Now you're Ken, so Ken doesn't see this. Ken gets this PDF and goes, Okay, great. Um, all these, all this stuff on here. Let's just pull up this guy so you can see the, the thumbnails. So we have these three different files, and I have decided that I'm going to go with number three. Okay. So first of all, I need to tell my designer all this information. I want to go with three, but I want to delete this text here. I want to change the phone number, and I want to make this smaller. So first of all, don't go too crazy with <laughs> designing a file for them. But if there's text edits, you definitely need to do that. But you know things like um, move this here and make this smaller. You basically started you're doing your designer's job, but I'm getting off my soapbox anyway. So here we go. Um, how do I tell my designer I don't want to use this one? First of all, um, you want to go to comment, which is up here, or if it's in up here. But one of the things it's it's going to be a comment box. And you're going to take this guy here, which is the sticky note, and you're going to just stick it right to the middle. Um, Okay. Okay. Just basically, it says you're not going to go with that one. Um, and no, this is another comment. Uh, okay. You know, you can put little things like that. It's fine. Don't go too crazy with all that text. Um, you know, you want to just be nitpicky. It's just plain annoying. So now we have the file that we like, and I'm going to make my changes. Now, first of all, let's just go ahead and say we want to delete that. Now, how do I do it? First, under annotations, there's a, there's a lot of tools, but I recommend kind of sticking with the core ones here. The sticky note's great. The uh, insert text, the cursor's great. The replace text is great. The delete text is also great, and the highlight text is also great. The rest of them, um, you know, like things like uh, attach file, uh, record audio, <sighs> add stamp and underline, and then last but not least is add note to text. All that stuff is um, not as popular. So, you know, we're talking about just plain uh, graphic design in a file here. All right, so first of all, let's just zip through this. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to go over here to the strike through. It just says delete me. Now you can see the note comes up over here. It just says obviously means delete. So I don't need you don't need to type anything. Next, um, I want to change this phone number to a new number. So I highlight the text, and I can do one of two things. I could do the high, uh, um, highlight text. Well, I just highlight it by dragging the mouse over it. But you can click the highlight text, or better yet, you could do the this guy here is the proper one, which is um, just uh, replace. So I'm going to type in um, 973, I don't know, I'm making this up, 996-9098. Nine, nine, 
but that's the number I want it to be changed to. And I'll understand that. Next, I want to make this uh, a bit smaller and not bold. So I'm going to actually drag my mouse over that text. And I'm actually going to, this time, I'm going to click the highlight text. And this is a good overall way of doing things. Now you can just kind of go over here to your box and type in this, double click in the space there and say, um, make normal and two PT for points smaller. Okay. That's all my edits. I'm done. So before I go, I'm just going to hit file and save. You have to save this or else it won't keep your documents. So you just delete, so you just, no, let me close it. You just go to your, um, your email program and, you know, you find your file and you, you attach it and you send it and I'm actually going through the whole thing with you. So you attach it and you send to, um, you know, your designer who's sitting there um, and you hit send and I come in in the morning and I go to my mail and I see this pop up and bam, wham, slam, all stuff. You're not supposed to see any of that. <laughs> and there it is. I get this file and okay, great. Look, I just opened it up and it looks a little funky, but oh, wait, it looks good. Okay, great. I see all my changes not going with this one. Thanks. Great. And I'm going to go to, we'll just go back to the thumbnail version here. Um, <clears throat> Okay, looks good, good. I'm happy to hear that. And let's go to this one. Okay, we had a couple changes. And what are the changes? And I'm just mousing over. Okay, um, there's no text telling me anything, but I'm assuming that that red means to strike through. Now, that's great. Okay, good. This means that he wants to replace that with that phone number. And down here, just make normal two points smaller. Okay, perfect. So let me make my changes. And um, it looks like that email just sent. <laughs> So let me just uh, let me just close it, shut this down a little bit. So okay, let me get my um, let me get my PDF here. Let me put it right next to my my document so I can look at it while I go through it. And let me just hide this. All right, perfect. All right, so here's my original. This is the one I'm working off of, and it says delete it. So I delete it. All right. Well, you know, I better I better check off what I'm doing as I do it. So here's my list. Um, okay, they um, I did that one, so I deleted it. Okay, next I'm gonna change the phone number. So I'm gonna come down to the phone number here. So that's uh, blocking that. All right. So that's the phone number he wants. He wants nine seven three. Oops. Nine seven three. Um, let's see, nine nine eight, and um, you know, nine zero nine eight. Okay, great. So there's my change there. He wants this. Um, he wants this make normal size and and not bold. So let me just go to my character. Um, you know, if you get it by now, then don't for, you should not feel like you should watch all this. So it's normal, and you know, here's here's my opinion. This is. A little bit smaller, so it's smaller. Okay, great. That looks, uh, that looks good. It doesn't look that great, but okay, whatever. And um, okay, so that's done. Um, I'm done as a designer, and now I'm going to send this back to him. So file save as. I'm just going to send this is in this is in the Adobe Illustrator side. Um, and I'm just going to sit there and zip it up, and um, I should just spit it out. And all these things you may necessarily need to know uh, at this point because you're just kind of seeing the whole walkthrough. So, all right, so he didn't want this first one, so I'm actually going to delete it. I don't want to show it to him again. And now I have these two files, and, um, you know, it looks like we made the three changes. I remembered them, so I don't need to pull it back up. So there are my, my changes, and I'm just going to send it off to him, um, open, up my, uh, <laughs> open up my program, and shoot it off, and that's it. And then he'll come back and say it's proof. And that's it. So that's how you uh, work through the annotation side of things. Thanks again for watching. Um, sorry for the long tutorial, but I think it's really important that people know how to um, annotate their design files. Thanks again.